Jean de Marignac discovered ytterbium, an element with the atomic number 70, in 1878. The element is named after the Swedish hamlet of Itterby. Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about ytterbium. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started. Rare earth metal that is white in color, silvery in appearance, ductile, and soft. Strong acids are able to destroy it, and the temperatures of cold water and air cause it to respond slowly. The equivalent oxide is formed on the surface of ytterbium as a result of its oxidation by air, which results in the formation of the protective layer. As it is exposed to air, it gradually begins to turn a golden or brown color. 168YB, 170YB, 171YB, 172YB, 173YB, 174YB, and 176YB are the seven isotopes that make up natural ytterbium. Natural ytterbium will also contain 176YB. For example, monazite, buxinite, and xenotime are the three primary minerals that include it. Ytterbium is characterized by a wide range of distinct physical properties when compared to those of other elements. At temperatures below 1.0 Kelvin, elements typically exhibit ferromagnetic and antiferromagnetic properties. However, when the temperature rises above 1.0 Kelvin, the element exhibits paramagnetic properties. The diamagnetic property of ytterbium appears in its alpha allotrope. To a certain extent, ytterbium is capable of forming dihalides and trihalides. Nonetheless, the majority of its compounds are in the plus 3 state. The process of disproportionation results in the formation of trihalides and metallic ytterbium from dihalides. Uses of ytterbium To this day, ytterbium clocks are the most reliable atomic clocks in existence. Because of the presence of a large number of atoms in the element, the clock is more stable. Stainless steel is strengthened, grain refinement is improved, and mechanical properties are enhanced through the use of this substance as a doping agent. It also serves as a catalyst for industrial processes. Dentistry makes use of only a small number of ytterbium alloys. In addition to being electropositive, ytterbium is a silvery white metal that, when combined with water, results in the formation of ytterbium hydroxide. These particular elements are utilized in the production of memory devices, as well as tunable lasers in this day and age. That's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.